funny though, back in the game when they had a vid, my bad for not posting last night, he got real loud and said, I'm trying to get back now. Hey, look, it is, I, I was starting hash. I gotta get back on my show date shit. 9th, 9.41 in the morning. So this is, this is good, perfect, good time for to drop the vid now. See, I like to do it in a room with everybody up, not when it's after 12, everybody going to bed and wish wake up to watch me work out. Look at that. <laughs> but no, no. Workout vid. You already know what time it is. We're going to talk about some topics that I was thinking about. We're in this shit, but we're going to start our workout vid. Get some of these workouts going. Like I said, this shit helps you. Your body wake up some more. Sticky ball, hit that light. You can't see me, but you can hear me. What up? What up? How y'all doing? Y'all good in school, at work, whatever y'all got going on. Still about to get up, still asleep. Whenever you wake up, you see the bed, work out. Like I said, this is like if you trying to. Get your body some energy and just, you know, just a wake up call or just a wake up where I'll have to drink coffee or take a vitamin pill. Or, you know, something like a, su a supplement or some type of high caffeine ass drink to get energy when you want to just do it the natural way. Without all that. A quick little workout in the morning, you know what I'm saying, and get you taken care of so you can um, get everything straight. Because I know how it is. Like, I don't drink coffee like that, so if I don't drink coffee energy, where I'm going to get it from, you know what I'm saying? Then I started doing this. I was like, this should get me up. I ain't be feel like going back in the bed after this. I'll be ready to head on my bed. It's like my coffee of the day. I'm ready to go by my day. If I don't do this, it's gonna be hard because I, because like this thing, you know how they got those vid, them self improvement channels, which ain't nothing wrong with. Them be good points. Like you be on your phone, you first wake up, hey, they can throw off your day at times, you see something fucked up, or that you just be on your phone in the morning to determine what you do. But me on the other hand, it's never, that never was the thing for me. I, like, yeah, I woke up and got my phone, but I never, I never was the person that let like some like a phone or something I see on my phone determine my day. Like you can wake up, watch some motivation. That, that's a feel good in the morning, you know what I'm saying, on your phone. Or just listen to a feel good podcast while you head on business around the house. They usually get that, go, that push start. But 
I never let the phone determine my day. But I can get to the point where they say that because you know, it could do that for other people. But that never was a problem for me, though. But what determine my day is if I wake up and do this. Now, if I don't wake up and do this, then I'm like a couple steps slower. So when I do this, I'm on track or ahead because this is just me waking up my body. Like, come on, man, wake up, Stanley. Handle your beard, you know, it's that type of shit. So it's like, when I do this, I'm waking up my body. I'm getting the blood moving. I'm getting my heart pumping. I'm doing everything. Just getting my own energy where I don't have to drink coffee or do all this extra bullshit. So, yeah. I want to go crazy with the water today, but it'd be hard to then you got to piss all day. I mean, I know that's how I go eventually get used to the shit. But yeah, you know, I had to take a little break. But nah, the little topics I thought about, like, because if y'all watched my video yesterday, y'all know I was talking about the GTA 6 coming out. And then I was just thinking earlier, like, today I'm like, hey, yo, I done seen video. Have y'all seen them videos? I'm weird ass. Hold on. Let me do some push. -up. <laughs> oh, like, have y'all seen them, like, them, them weird ass, bit corny ass, cringe videos where them uh, females are just come on? Or just even post a photo, and they'll be like, PS5 or me. I wouldn't, I would who the fuck finna pick you, motherfucker? Like, I don't know what, I don't know, I know that's a random ass topic, but nobody has time for that shit, man. Like, they just say that, they just make the dumbest video. It just be weird to me. The fact, I don't know if they purposely do it, thinking somebody finna pick them because they look good. They're gonna probably try to find their best photo. Or when they feel like they looking real good, that's when they do that dumb ass shit. And think somebody finna pick them. All them motherfuckers gonna pick them some, some thirsty ass niggas. Or some old ass niggas. 9 out of 10, everybody picking the PS5. Come on, nobody's finna fucking pick you. Then, no, the video, it'd be, it'd be kind of funny, but you kind of already get what the reaction's going to be. Because the dude, you know, it, like, once the decision is getting made, it'll seem like he picked the girl. Like, yeah, look at the PF5 time. Yeah, you got to go. Yeah, you got to go. Then turn around and be like, that's what I told her, bro. Like, I don't know. It's just be some weird ass shit. I know that was random as hell, but yeah. But no, though. To any motherfucker who think playing video games is like corny and immature or any of that shit, y'all are lame, miserable, single, desperate as hell, hating. I don't understand why this eyes be hating on me for what. But no, no. Because I didn't see a post. I think the bitch was like, what? I'm pretty sure some of y'all probably seen it too. But it's more than one time they be doing this shit. It's kind of like one of them, I don't know. Bitches be, what, 35, couple of kids, baby dad, ain't shit probably, don't give a fuck. So now they want to come hate on everybody else. Yeah, but they just be like, if you play games, I can't be with you. Da, da, da. Like, I find this so chop corn. Like, what? Like video games, like that's some. If you first of all, you like playing video game, play video games. It is what it is. Fuck whoever don't like it. Hey man, it just ain't for you, and you just ain't for them. And trust me, they ain't gonna ever get with nobody. Trust, they gonna be single for a while. They too fucking picky and immature. Like, what the fuck is wrong with playing a fucking video game? That's just something I do in my downtime. Ain't shit wrong with playing no fucking video game. 
I don't know what's wrong with these females when they, even some of the dudes, they be like, man, I don't play this, play video games, nigga, I'm too grown for this, man, I got other shit, I shut the fuck up, y'all ain't like any motherfucker play a video game, just pure loser in life, that's only a motherfucker who ain't doing shit else in their life, like, like me, for example, I, I wake up, I do my workout, this is like, like how I'm making this video right now, workout video for y'all. This is one of my priorities. Then I go to the gym, handle my business there and so forth. You know what I'm saying? I'm doing shit outside of playing the video. Now, if you do playing it every day, all day, doing nothing, that's just all you do, then yeah, you fucking lose. That's a problem. But if you're doing other shit, you handle all your other business around it, then you can do whatever the fuck you want in your free time. So fuck them who hate on people who play video games. Trust me, not something they single. Bunch of kids, no baby dad don't give a fuck, and they just hate, like, they just lying, like, 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 even if you old, you can play a video game, like, the fuck, everybody live their life, man, the hell wrong with people, I just don't know, just don't know. <laughs> But yeah, though. Hopefully, y'all been doing good and shit. I feel like I had another topic. I'm trying to be on Twitter. I know I'm saying random ass shit, but. You ever be on Twitter and just see, like, random shit? Like, first of all, I'm going to tell you something now. Like, you can be on Twitter and actually, like, see normal shit. See, I'm a dude who likes to see it all. Because they got some content, they be like, it be sensitive. I just go make it uncensitive. Because I like, I'm a dude who likes to, to see what the fuck going on. I'm not. I'm 19, so it's like, I'm old enough to, like, look at this shit. <laughs> a lot of the time, it's just women trying to get their only fans up out of there and shit like that, promoting their shit. A lot of times, you just see a bunch of naked-ass women on there showing their pussy, getting... I'm talking crazy, right? I gotta chill. Oh, not want you YouTube <laughs> to not... Like, <clears throat> my bad, YouTube, my bad, uh... My bad, I'm getting too unfiltered. At least let me get my shit up. Once I get my shit up, I can talk the way I want. Cause I feel like, see the thing about YouTube, I'm gonna get back on the Twitter shit, by the way. Think about YouTube. Yeah, I can see, I've been doing pull-up. I feel like that's been forming and pull-up. But no, the thing with the YouTube, I feel like once you get like, example, DJ Ghost, shout out my guy, DJ Ghost. See, he at a point, he got enough clout where he talks. They just know his personality. I feel like when you starting out, how they be like, oh, I can't cuss too much on YouTube. What are they going to monetize my video? Taking? I don't think that's really the case. I feel like in, in some cases, that do be the case. But another thing I feel like, I feel like the thing with YouTube is they just don't know who you really is. So when they, they just see a random motherfucker on here just cussing, talking shit, they think, oh, yeah, he unprofessional. He just, oh, no, nah, we can't have that. He talking down. You know what I'm saying? I don't think that's always the case. I feel like once they realize, like, oh, that's just how this dude is. Because I'm pretty sure the people who work at YouTube know that one dude who just, anytime he talk, he got to cuss. That's just him. You know what I'm saying? That's just how he talk. He ain't talking shit about nobody. He ain't saying nothing negative to me. That's just how he talk. He just talking a lot of fucking profanity. Just like me, I be doing that. But nah, though. Um, but I do want to YouTube. I'm pretty sure you you know my personality. I don't got over that way. Fifty plus vids on this channel, so it's like, if y'all watch all my videos, y'all gonna hear a lot of it. That's just what I do. You know what I'm saying? I'm not trying to be no a hole. I ain't trying to be none of that. I just that's just how it is. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, but yeah. But the Twitter thing now, yeah, you got a lot of females just posting whatever they want. You know what I'm saying? 
Then I was thinking, like, the OnlyFans community is highly oversaturated. It's like the YouTube, but it's just the sexual side of it. Not it's the sexual side of YouTube, but it's like YouTube, but it, or just any social media. Well, no, it's like YouTube, but with it, they come in, it's just they do sexual shit. Like I said, y'all remember that one time they was going to take all that stuff off, then they switched it off. So pretty much, I feel like at a point, it's too many people that try. See, when you think about it, you will think like, ain't no way all these females, this is not what they wanted their career to be. I'm pretty sure you have females who probably want to be doctors, lawyers, you know. And I'm, first of all, I'm going to get on the, I'm not trying to be no old head, talk no old head stuff. I'm gonna get on some old heads in a minute too. <coughs> but nah, though. You got those, um. Let me do some ankle touches real quick. 20 bottle. I think the water pressure low around the complex. I think the water here. So I think the water pressure low around the complex. Cause up in here, the water pressure seems pretty low. But no, the. I ain't on no old head hate shit. I'm just speaking like facts when it comes to this. Like you got females who probably actually had, I ain't gonna say doctor, lawyer. I'm just gonna say had better goals to achieve in life. They had better like ideas and lifestyle to go forward towards in life. Then they seen, hmm, you gotta, and it do make sense though in some type of horn like, yeah, you got a female that's made what a million a month, one million dollars on OnlyFans in a month. She gonna work again. You know what I'm saying? And then she do it again. It's like they kind of give them girls confidence and a boost, feel like they can do the same thing when it's not the case. See, you got the bad babies in the belt of thorns who made that meal in a couple of hours type shit. But these girls understand they ain't got that fan base and that clout like they do. So don't y'all expect to do that? And I just feel like it's too many on there. Like, they even pay for promotion. I feel like you going out of your way too much. I'm going to do, like, because people do when they try to do music, too. Like, they pay people to promote. Like, I feel like I want my own. Like, if I'm going to do it, I want my own grind. Like, it's no hate. Like, if you pay for promotion, cool. It's cool. But I don't see myself doing it because, I don't know. I feel more authentic when I do it all by myself. Cause then I can pass it on, pass the, the message or the torch on somebody that's like, yeah, you ain't gotta pay for no promo. You can save all your money. You do this your way, just go crazy and just keep shooting out. Cause hey man, hard work pays off trust and believe. It most definitely does. Most definitely does. Like, look at me. I got more than 50 plus videos on this channel. Eventually people are gonna see it. They're gonna like it. They gonna mess with your boy, you know what I'm saying? So it's not always about trying to promote stuff. Like a lot of the time people who promote it don't got much to promote to give. So it's like you just wanna go crazy on your own stuff. And it's like boom. I feel like an opportunity with this is gonna come my way. It's gonna be a lot of goodness, a lot of trust trust me. Well, I got four subscribers now. 
from getting to view. Shout out to all the people who've been watching, subscribing, doing what they do. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people gonna mess with your boy eventually. Trust and believe. Y'all see me now. Give it some time. Things only gonna get better for sure. I feel like it's really gonna pick up once you start seeing progress. And then people gonna look at it like a legit source. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, cause look, even, and this is another crazy thing about my stuff is like, this is just not me posting. It's like, you see more than just me posting. You seeing, you seeing a whole, like, if you watching me, you seeing, how would I put it? You seeing like a whole like journey of me. You seeing the good, you seeing the bad, the good, the mistakes, the upsides, the downsides, back to the upside. Like y'all seen when I said I'm back, when I fell off my workout business and I hopped back on, like you seeing it all on my channel. Like you gonna see it. You gonna see the growth and the grind and just everything like building up. It's like an actual journey that you live, that you can relate to, that you can be a part of. It's like, it just shows you everybody ain't perfect type shit. So it's a whole little cycle realm. And then like, you just seeing the ups and downs to this channel, you know what I'm saying? And I feel like you just gotta go through that. And you hear about it with other people. And sometimes when people up and they go down, it's like, damn, I fell off. Or just not even they fell off, they just feel like, is it's that give up moment or even if they ain't even got that much clout and they trying to go up then they just go down and it's like i ain't be really went nowhere and i'm already going down yeah i give up tight get depressed and get bad but nah i'm just i'm owning up to the mistakes and fixing everything back up so things can go back up and now i gotta even if they do go down just a part of the cycle i know how this goes it's like stop go up go down go up good like Everything is going to be flat, good, or up. Like, no, I know it's going to be downsides to a lot of things. It is what it is. Nobody's perfect. Everything just don't hit. Everything ain't going crazy. You know what I'm saying? So, I just know how it's going to go. You know what I'm saying? Eventually, <clears throat> eventually it's going to pay off for me because I'm putting in the work. Regardless, this is the one thing you got to Understand, if you is putting in the work, no matter if it goes up and down, up and down, up and down, up and down, if you put in the work and you going crazy, eventually it's going to stay up and it's going to pay off because you didn't put in a lot of time and effort and just hard work, dedication into it and just think everything goes up. It is what it is. It's just, that's just how life is. You put in work to do something, you manifest it, you put in your work to do it, it's going to happen eventually. It's going to happen. It's part of life. This is how it works. You only live once. Just go crazy and do what you want to do. You know what I'm saying? So pretty much everything is going to go up eventually for me. So it's like, am I worried? No. I got confidence in myself that things are going to go up. I know I ain't going to fail myself. There's no way. Ain't no way. Ain't no way. I know I'm going to go up eventually. Y'all going to see a whole different me. Y'all going to see a whole different just style of... Wait, y'all gonna see the whole progress, the whole journey. I didn't see enough motivation vids or just other people went up. Y'all gonna see me be up there too. And you know what they say is lonely at the top. Of course it is. A lot of people ain't gonna be a part of this shit. You know what I'm saying? And you want them to, but hey man, you only can help yourself first. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, you know, you can't you can't guarantee you help anybody, but you know. I'm not gonna say can't guarantee it, but it's like you know you can't guarantee you get everybody up there, which well you know what you can guarantee do get yourself up there, but you can't do it. Yeah, I know I'm ash. Yes, yes. Stop looking at my hand. Just listen to what I'm saying for a minute. I stop worrying about my ashy hand. We 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 are going up. Trust and believe. That's all I gotta say. You know what I'm saying? So most definitely just keep at it, keep going at it. I, even if it seemed like you've been doing it for a while, just a while, and it seemed like I, I've been doing this, I've been going in crazy. I've been, I've been, I just been doing it all good for a while. I've just been really going crazy, doing it all good for a while, and it's still ain't no progress. Like, am I, is this not for me? Am I not going to make it? Or am I, I'm a, like, what, I'm a failure in life? Like, what, what is it for me? Where, where is the, the, 
where's the the light at the end of my tunnel for me? When I'm ever go up, like it just seems like I'm stagnant and I ain't going nowhere. Like, what can I do to be better? Like, what can I chill? Continue doing what you're doing. Handle your business. Trust me, somebody gonna see it. And you're gonna go up. Trust me. This is one thing you gotta understand. Anytime it's something that means something, I told you, the way people are today, they don't listen or take anything that means something serious all the time. So it's like, with anytime you trying to put out something that's that matters and means something, it seems like it doesn't get the most attention. All the cringy. All the stuff that's useless, like I said, it ain't no hate to nobody, but anytime it's something that doesn't mean nothing or or just entertainment purposes, of course those go blow out the water because that's just, it's entertainment. That's just, people like to be entertained. You know what I'm saying? But when you push out something that means something, it's a slow process, slow grind, slow process. Like, why you think my niggas like, Shout out Jordan Green, J Rock, um, the new Solo Minati. But he Solo Minati, yeah. But you seen when he was like as entertainment moments, he was getting all, all the clicks, views. Still getting views now, but it ain't as much as the entertainment. And, and there's no hate to him because he would know this too. Like, we just know how this goes. You know, anytime it's something with entertainment, it can blow fast and quick because it's entertainment you know what i'm saying people want to laugh so like when it's something serious and something you really trying to do for you and trying to help other people and trying to benefit other people it's going to be a slow grind it's going to seem like it ain't doing nothing but trust me it's doing something it's doing something even if it's taking a slow it everybody start out slow most definitely. You got those people who lucky that blow quick, like the Aiden Ross of the world. I believe Aiden Ross already had a channel, but you seen that nigga once he was hot and just posting all that crazy stuff, he blew out the water. Same with speed. I remember he was like at a mil. He had a mil, but now he got like four mil almost. He finna be in five mil. He just blew up, blew up. When he started doing all that crazy stuff, he blew up, acting crazy. I believe when I first seen that dude and he first was on my, he didn't seem like he was that crazy and doing all that crazy yelling the all that weird stuff, but he blew, you know what I'm saying? Um, but anytime it's some like, but like back to the Jordan Green J Rock, them niggas who who push out stuff that mean stuff, they got stuff that actually matters and mean stuff that can help, but it seemed like it just doesn't get the most, it gets attention, like I said, no hate. And shout out, uh, Ice Cold JT, too, shout out him, too. Uh, but it seemed like. When they post, they stuff, they get views, most definitely. Don't get the game, as they get their views. But versus people who entertain, who get the millions and millions of views, versus them, they get thousands of views, which is cool, you know what I'm saying? Because it just shows you who who really real, who really watching this and care, trying to get to the Cole, uh, Cole Hawson. I know I'm probably saying his name. Cole Hawson. Y'all know, y'all know the uh, dude, not trying to be racist, but the white guy. Uh, Cole, yeah, he another good dude too, by the way. But yeah, you see all those people who make their vids. It like they get their views, but it ain't. It seemed like our type of views, the self and pretty much the, another dude, Huntsville. Yep, shout out him too. I know I keep just shooting out names. Like this is gonna be a long vid. I know I keep shooting out names that like um, I keep shooting out names and stuff that y'all probably don't know. But shout out all of them though. Just to any self-improvement channel. It's going to be hard. Like I said, no hate to nobody. But our grind, when we when we post our stuff that matters, it's going to be harder. I ain't going to say harder, but it's going to be a longer progress before we really go up, 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 up. It seems like, like we can go up. But anytime it's a vid about anything that means something, your views don't come in hard. But if you talk about something that could be entertainment or controversial, those get all the clicks and views. People like the negativity. They like drama. Like I said, just the world we live in. But shout out all the self-improvement channels. You know what I'm saying? They will blow too. 
I will blow. But keep going at it. If you're doing something that means something and it seems like you can get on prey, even if you ain't posting on YouTube, and you just work it out like a motherfucker, you feel like you seen on just keep going. Eventually things is gonna come together, man. Things gonna come together for sure. So most definitely just keep at it and just go crazy, you know what I'm saying? And everything. And everything gonna go crazy. I know I just wasted a lot of time trying to explain something that y'all probably still don't understand, stand, but just keep going. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, things do pay off. I got days where I just feel, even me, I got days, certain days where I don't feel too right about what I got going on. But then I got days where I come back at it and I just, you know, I met it. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, it's it's a challenging cycle. Eventually, it's going to pay off. But you still got to look at Jordan Green, too, and all them self-improvement shows. They did get to that past that 100K subscribers. To like, they made it. You know what I'm saying? They got 100K. Like, 100K people, that's a lot of people. You know what I'm saying? So shout out them. Shout out to the upcoming ones, too, that I don't know about and will know about. Like, because we all, I got to feeling that we all gonna collab on one big ass video, all the self-improvement, we just gonna collab in one big video and just, you know what I'm saying? Just talk it all out, talk. And it's gonna just be, it's gonna be like the realness of it. You know what I'm saying? And like I said, us self-improvement dudes, we have our fun too. It ain't always about being serious about it. Nah, we, we, we do what we do. Like I said, I, thought I play, you know, I'm doing, average people stuff in the world too so it's like hey it's, it's okay it's not always about being serious you know what i'm saying i have fun you know what i'm saying i ain't one of those type of people we cool we just we just pushing out things that matter and like i said it's no hate to people that push out on the entertainment but you know what i'm saying we just going crazy you know what i'm saying so let's just keep doing us and yeah so you two watch the video and listen to all that i ain't Putting out negative vibes and energy. I'm just speaking facts. It is what it is. No hate to nobody, by the way. No hate, all love. No negative vibes, positive vibes on me. But yeah. Back to the OnlyFans talk. I know y'all probably want to hear that. Y'all probably don't want to even hear that shit out there. The good stuff I said. But I'm going to get it out the way. Um, OnlyFans city. Um... I'm going to do 20 more to new things that I'm done with this workout, baby. I'm going to just finish the little talks. I said knee touch. I meant to say ankle touch. My stupid ass. But nah, though. Only fan. I feel like you got, the community got oversaturated. This video is the longest video that I got. Yeah, the community got oversaturated, though, for sure. Uh, but I feel like it's too many people trying to do it. I feel like it got to that. It reached that point. And I feel like when something ain't carved out for you, it doesn't work. Like I said, I know I just said all this, like, keep at it, eventually you'll blow. But when it comes to stuff like that, like, Got stuff carter like that. I feel like they don't last forever. People get tired of seeing <coughs> just low down simps who ain't getting no word in life, so they just blowing their money on stuff like that. But I ain't gonna keep you speaking on that. I feel stuff out there I just spoke. I don't feel like I don't even care much about this topic. Um now stuff about the old older people, man. I, I feel like I already made it. It's kind of same similarity to that problem with the older parents and all that. I just feel like everything back in the day was so better. Yeah, y'all was younger. 
What y'all did was cool, but don't hate on the new generation, man. Because y'all got grandmas that had had kids by four, five different baby dads. So it was like, it was out doing the same thing these new folks do. So it's like, I don't be understand. I mean, yeah, yeah, I just don't want you to make the same mistake. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But don't talk down on it like y'all didn't do this shit. Like, so it's like, I don't be here. And it's like, things are more advanced now. So it's like, come on, you got to stop the hate, man. We just in a new time. And it's like, y'all just ain't up with the speed. Sometimes y'all even using newer shit. So yeah, I, that was just some random. Anyway, I'm going to get up out of here, man. Like, comment, subscribe. Uh, catch on this vid. About this vid was gonna be 36 minutes. Longest vid by far. But I'm gone, y'all. I love y'all. I'm out. Like, comment, subscribe. Catch on next vid. I'm out. If I can think of some else, I'll drop. After speaking that, hey, man, hopefully I didn't turn some days around. So, yeah. I'm wait till I hit 36. Is it 36?